Keith Asapardi became the GST's new leader following an internal party election last week. But he's not an MP, so the big question following his victory was who was going to lead the opposition in Parliament. Roy Clinton, the interim leader for the last six months, had already indicated he would not continue in the role if he lost the election. Less than 24 hours before the next parliamentary session, the question has been answered. Mr Zapardi describes Elliot Phillips as the parliamentary leader and not leader of the opposition. He describes him as a popular, bright and articulate MP and observes that he was the biggest vote puller from the current slate of GSD MPs other than Daniel Featham. Mr Zapardi believes Mr Phillips will do an excellent job in Parliament and has already asked the Speaker to recognise his appointment. Outside Parliament, Mr Zapardi will take on the development of the party and its strategy and will have overall responsibility for party policy on the economy, Brexit, constitutional affairs, governance and democracy and public sector reform. In Parliament, Elliot Phillips will be responsible for housing, health and care, youth, families and children. Roy Clinton will continue to be responsible for the economy and public finances. Trevor Hammond will focus on Brexit and European affairs, the environment, tourism, traffic and heritage. Edwin Hayes will cover education, employment, sport and the public sector. And Daniel Featham will shadow justice, civil rights, equality, financial services and gaming.